Well, what can you tell us? Well, thank you, Emily. Walmart has confirmed to us in Bloomberg News that Jerry Murray, the Walmart VP of Finance and Logistics, has left the company after seven years. The company, though this is important, did say it was, quote, his decision to leave. They also added that a replacement has not been found. Now, Emily, you gave us some of the background on this, but remember, this has been an exclusive Bloomberg story. Renee Deadly really uh, outshining in her reporting here, first reporting that Walmart's concerns over how the payroll tax hike and delayed tax fund would impact sales. In fact, in that email, it said that this is been one of the worst starts ever to Walmart's year, that the sales were a disaster. And also the follow-up reporting about how Walmart reportedly was having trouble keeping its shelves stocked. Now, remember, Bloomberg's reporting did move the stock on this news, also garnering over 1,000 emails about the retailer's bare shelves from customers. You know, all of these numbers really paint that phenomenon of what happened. In fact, if you take a look at what happened in the past, past five years over at Walmart, the company has added more than 450 U.S. stores. That's a 13 percent increase. But its total workforce has in fact dropped by about 20,000 or nearly one and a half percent. Sanford Bernstein analyst Colin McGranahan also echoed the sentiment of perhaps not enough workers there to really be able to do what they're asked to do to keep those shelves filled. Emily, this has been a lead reporting story by Bloomberg here on Walmart and what uh, troubles they've been having not only in their numbers but also keeping their shelves stocked. And now we have learned that the executive who reportedly uh, who said in this email that those sales were a disaster has now left the company.